<laughs> hi guys. Hi. Hi, hi. Today is errand day. Chores day. Not errand. This is a chore. Chores day. Hi guys. Welcome to Pink on a Dive with Sha. Yeah, you caught me in my morning. I am about to do laundry. For the first time ever since I got here, it's been seven days. I think seven days. And this is the first time I'm doing laundry since I came here. And it is the first time I'll be using the washer and dryer. I am excited, but I'm also a bit anxious. But I've been doing my research, been watching on YouTube. Okay. This is not my first encounter with a dryer and washer. I'm a washer and dryer. I've seen my friends use it. I've been in places where they've used it, but I've never actually used one. <laughs> you get it, right? So, <laughs> uh, as usual, I love involving you guys when I'm trying something for the first time. One, cause I really need someone to tell me if I'm doing something right or something wrong. Secondly, Ah, you guys are firm, right? I mean, what's what other way is there to do these things without involving you? So let's do this together. So, um, first of all, how can I not say thank you for watching my videos? Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. It is, I don't know. I don't know. You have no idea how fulfilling it is when you go through so much to make to create content and then guys actually watch and interact. Thank you for all the comments. I will assure you that I respond to each and every single comment. So please go ahead and comment. Hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscription button. Thank you for all of you who have been subscribing, for all of you who have been watching, and for all the newcomers, all my new subscribers. Mwah! Mwah, mwah, mwah. Nothing but love. We are all love here. We spread love and goodness. So, um, in case you're new here, my name is Sha. Pick on that. Pick on a name with Sha, and I share content about lifestyle as a new immigrant in Canada. I'm here as a permanent resident and I am filming all my experiences so that I can make it easier for you when you actually move here or to make it easier for you to decide whether you want to move here or not. Yeah, so let's get into it before I ramble too much. So apparently the first thing you do is sort your clothes. Uh, so today we are going to sort according to colors. We're going to put all the light ones all the light colors and i think i'm going to do two batches because these clothes are rather many so we're going to sort them really quick and then move on to the next step okay Or the lights but my biggest issue is if it's running or not like I don't know if it's going to run because I don't want to stain my other bright clothes so I think I've gone more with uh, whether it is running or not than brighter and darker that is why I have put all my search pants t-shirts and whites here and the jeans and uh, heavier clothes and darker clothes here right so I'm hoping I'm really hoping this is the right way to do it yeah, so let's get into the next step. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a chore for me because for me doing laundry is actually, you know, doing laundry. <laughs> so let's get into the next step, right? So, um, first of all, let's hide this. This is my alarm and I don't want you guys seeing my house number, right? So, uh, first of all, we switch on the light and let's get into the laundry room. This is my laundry room, guys. So, these are the detergents we'll be using today like i said we are still figuring this out guys aki we are still figuring these things out this one was recommended by someone at the supermarket at at walmart 
uh, I had no idea which one to pick so I just randomly asked a couple that was picking one I was like which one is the best and then she was like I use this one I think it's the right one I think it's the best one so ended up picking it also I love downy always have even in Kenya always have and uh, Mm, this one smells amazing. So this is the combination of what we'll be using guys uh, And since we are not bleaching everything anything, I mean we're not bleaching anything so we do not have any kind of bleach So uh, let's get right into it So guys, I think I have an idea of how this works, right? I think I have an idea of how this works. So, um, I think, okay, not I think, to begin with, this is the dry. My bad, because in the beginning I thought this was the, the washer, so this is the dryer. And you know that because it's written here drying. And uh, this is the washer, right? Yeah, I think that's all you need to know. And then the next part is just to, you know, get right into it, okay? Okay, come closer and show them. So let's see, what they're saying is uh, you start with putting in your detergent. So first thing we are doing is, um, first thing we're doing is putting in the detergent. So you're supposed to have a cup to measure, but I have no idea where the cup is. And this detergent doesn't seem to come with one. So we are just going to use this one and uh, yeah, be logical. <laughs> We're just going to use this and be logical in measurements, right? So um, I think that's enough because we're not doing too much laundry for the first mm -hmm. round. Or maybe we could add a little bit. Uh -huh. I love bubbles. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's the amount we are going with. Uh, just a little bit more than half, okay? Uh, and then we're going to pour it in here. Um, so here it says detergent wash, right? I don't know if you can see it, it says detergent wash. Yeah, so that is where we're going to be pouring this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I really can't tell if that's enough or not, but I'm really hoping that it is um yeah and then we're going to go ahead and cover this because we do not want it spilling next thing is uh, this one because it says fabric softener and this is the what do you call this i don't know what to call it it is uh before the clothes toss into the washer before the clothes enjoy the lasting fresh scent cool control goes directly into the washer for a crisp fresh scent you see so this one it does not go here it, if it was the if it was the liquid the liquid kind is the softener so this one apparently is just the center okay okay um i think i'm a bit confused because i thought this was also the softener but turns out it is just the scent so turns out it is just a scent and it says clearly here do not put in your liquid dispenser or dryer mm. it says you should uh goes directly into the washer for crisp fresh scent it is it's as easy as shake a little or a lot into the cup 
toss into the washer before the clothes and then enjoy the lasting scent so apparently first of all let's open this <laughs> i'm yet to open it eh? let's open this first that's good uh-huh so here's the cup so you just flip it and then you're supposed to apparently put either a little or a lot depending on what you like so we're going to begin with a moderate yeah i think that's enough for the amount of clothes you're doing to begin with and then um so this is how it looks like guys oh, really cute pebbles and um mm. And it smells amazing. It smells amazing. So uh, they say you toss it into the washer. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to open our uh, washer. Yeah. And just, you know, first of all, let's check if it's clean. Uh, it is very clean, but there are some fabrics inside. But I'm going to remove the... Yeah. So uh, we just toss this inside, right? <laughs> Guys, I hope I'm doing the right thing. So just toss it in there, like that. And then, uh, finally we get to tossing the clothes. So uh, here we go. sure you check all your pockets uh, I remember growing up I learned to check the pockets because my dad always left money <laughs> always left money in his pockets and sometimes uh, uh, actually I told you guys sometimes hey the way you brought up I always felt like uh, it was a trap you know like my dad was trying to test me to see if I would actually give him back the money or use it or keep it for myself so anytime I found money, guys, can you believe I never kept any money for myself? Even if it was 50 shillings. <laughs> even this, this one time I actually found 3,000 and he didn't even know it was there. Or maybe he pretended to not have known it was there. But point is, that is how I was, I was raised. Like I could not keep a single cent for myself. And that is how I am to this day. You see? So the tricky part here is I don't know if I am using if I'm putting in too many clothes because you do not want to overload your machine. And uh, the rest of these clothes are actually very small. So ah, this is the t-shirt I was wearing on the day I came at the airport. Ah, ah, I don't know if it looks familiar, it should be all over my YouTube by now. I love it. It feels like a good luck charm, you know. So this is one of the tops I was telling you. I wasn't sure whether to put brights, like colors that fade and the ones that don't, or just, you know, whitish clothes. Huh? But these ones I'm sure don't fade, so, and they don't run. So, yeah. And here are my delicates. You do not want to be looking at my delicates. <laughs> so the challenge here is knowing the right amount of clothes to put in here. I am really hoping that I'm not putting too many at a go. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Yeah. Whew. That's it, guys. Huh? So you're supposed to close. Uh. It's closed, eh? It's closed. And then uh, press start. You see, you have all this funny funny things but first of all i've gone to normal not bulky i think i'll use bulky in the next one so go to normal and the next time i'm doing my delicates just my delicates i'll be using delicates so right now we're going to use normal and uh you're going to press start you see so automatic the automatic setup right now is um touch to add garments i know it's at wash and uh normal what are all this <laughs> i don't know i think this is where it starts like this is the process right and uh we are washing it at medium because we're not in all these other ones that we're not sure what they are and we're using warm water auto temperature spin speed and all that we are not going to touch those so we're just going to press start so 
So, um, yeah, that's where we are at. The door is locked. It is sensing, it is washing. So this is what is going on down here. So this is what is going on down here. I don't know if you can see any of it. But it's just spinning and spinning. Yeah. So guys, let's wait and see how this plays out. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Crossed that we are doing the right thing. Fingers crossed. But we learn, right? I can see the water trickling in slowly. Yeah. in a while it is going to be making weird noises <laughs> that are going to make you look twice right uh, especially when it's draining water draining water to put in cleaner water you know and all that we are now at 28 minutes it's it's already it's already sensed it's now at washing yeah moving on good Moving on really good. So whenever it makes weird noises out of nowhere, suddenly don't freak out. Okay? <laughs> don't freak out. Just know it is still doing its thing. Right? Yeah, so 28 minutes to go. So guys, guys please hit the comment section and let me know if I put in too many minutes. Because I'm not sure if 47 minutes was too high or too low. So please hit the comment section and tell me how many minutes I'm supposed to be putting in and for what kind of clothes if there's any setting you think i've put that is not appropriate please let me know we learn together right guys towards the end it makes so much noise eh? you see we are at two minutes and we listen to that noise and see the soapy the soapiness the foam <laughs> inside the... okay the first time i heard it i was like whoa what is happening but well, here you go we are at two minutes now, guys. Ah! So, guys, it is 46 minutes later. I can have been keeping my eye on it. There's a time when it was like a bookam. There's a time when it was like a, I think three minutes to. I know, was it two minutes? To, it was going so fast. I could not even see the clothes. You know that right now, at least you can see the clothes and you can see them moving. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, and it's done. Ah, well, I was blabbing. It's done. Let's see, let's see. <sighs> I'm kind of anxious, but yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see. Um, I think. Uh huh. Mm, they smell nice. They smell so nice. So the next step, and they are actually kind of dry, like zimefinua. You get. So the next step, they do look clean actually. <laughs> they are. <laughs> See, this, this is how I know it's clean because this thing gets really dirty. So the next step is for us to put it in the dry, dry, right? <laughs> to put it in the dry. So how do we function? How the, how is, does the dryer function? So we're just going to open it, check inside, make sure it is clean. Uh, first of all, let me show you guys something. Come a bit closer. To avoid fire hazard, personal injury or fire damage, including spontaneous combustion, clean lint screen before load. Uh -huh. Dry only water, washed clothes. Do not dry wash articles that have been exposed to flammable, blah, blah, blah. Do not use heat drying foam rub, okay. Risk of fire, wow. Do not allow children, okay. Good thing. I don't have kids right now. So, here, if you look really closely, they've written clean before each load. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. It says uh, clean before each load. Right there. And the only reason I know this is because, like I told you, I did my research and I 
I actually watched a few videos. So first of all, you're going to see inside. It looks really nice. I don't know if you can see. It looks really clean and nice. I like that. I really love the fact that it looks clean. Yeah. So, because <laughs> I can imagine if it's dirty and you've just washed your clothes. Imagine drying your clothes and laughing they end up dirty. So we're going to remove this one. Apparently you're supposed to clean it before you wash your clothes. So how to clean it? I don't know if you can see it has some dust. It's very little but still there. It has some very little dust. So all we're going to do is, because I'm going to clean down here later. Come closer. Because we're going to clean down here later. I'm just going to gently pat it here. Clean up very gently because we don't want to break it. You see? It's not dirty, like I told you. You just remove any excess dirt that might be there. I think the person who who used it before me must have cleaned it. Or maybe they cleaned it for us on the time they were cleaning here. Yeah, so you just want to remove the excess like that. I think you can see it coming out down here. Yeah. Like that. I think it's clean now, but just to make sure. I want to find out if there's an easier way of cleaning this. So we're going to find out if there's an easier way of doing that, but it's clean. Yeah, so apparently you have to clean this or, or check and confirm that it's clean before using it. So then we put it back here, just uh, the same way it went, it came out, just make sure to put it in the exact same way, like that. Yeah, and then we are ready to throw in the rest of the clothes, right? <laughs> guys, guys, the whole purpose of this video is for us to teach each other. If I am doing something wrong, if there's something I should be doing in a different way, please hit the comment section. Tell me, please let me know. Don't let me do something wrong twice. Huh? This is the first time. So please give me some pointers, give me some tips. If there's something I've not done or that I should know, please let me know, okay? So let's get active. Uh, so we're going to remove this load of clothes. Obviously I've cleaned my hands because I needed them to be clean as I touch the wet clothes. And then we're just going to remove them and gently put them in here, you know? As we confirm just how clean they are, right? Yeah. Oh damn, they smell good. <laughs> mm, they smell so good. So we're just going to put all, see how clean they look. Look at how clean they are. Yeah, and they're actually not very wet. Funny thing, they're not really wet. I feel like if I had actually put them out there, they'd have drawn, dried very fast. Yeah, so we're just going to do this really quick. Yay, my mask is clean. <laughs> does this look familiar guys does it it's better there we go so we're going to close this one as you can see I've removed all the clothes yeah Close this one and get to this one so we'll close and uh hit the start button right mm -hmm. so we're just going to hit the start button it says 50 minutes mm -hmm. so we're going to trust it so uh we're going to trust the 50 minutes because we have no point of reference so we're just currently using the preset times on the both the washer and the dryer. So since the washer worked so well, let's trust the dryer as well. So uh, we're just going to press start. And there we go. Shows high, high, chime on. Wrinkle release off. I don't know why the wrinkle release is off, but maybe it will get there. I'm sure it will get there eventually. At the wrinkle release. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. 
That's it, guys. So let's watch our clothes dry <laughs> for a while and then give it the 15 minutes it needs. Yeah. One minute, one minute to go, one minute to go. <sighs> I'm really curious if it's going to be like dry, dry, like completely dry or just dry ish, you know, considering it's taken a whole 50 minutes. Ah! Here you go. Well, this one still has, this one still has 12 minutes to go. This is the second batch. You saw me throw it in there. So let's take this out. Mm, it's a bit warm. Yeah, it's a bit just a little bit warm not really hot like hot but just a little bit warm so let's see what clothes are falling off hey <laughs> guys yes not only are they dry 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 actually they are warm like oh my god yeah, they smell amazing <laughs> They smell so amazing. I am so mad at myself because I forgot to put downy in the second batch. But this ones smell amazing. Oh my god. And they are dry dry, like dry dry. Let me check if it's all of them though. Let me check the heaviest one. The heaviest one was this jumper. Ah, guys, it is completely dry. Like, Acha Kwami Fuko. It's completely dry. I am so happy. I'm so happy. Ah, so let's get all of them out. And because I don't have a laundry bo bucket here. Done. 
we're going to do the exact same thing we did with this one for the second batch so far so good i'm so happy i can't wait to see if it happens the same for the heavier and bulkier ba batch <laughs> Guys, we are done. Imagine we are done. I don't know if you can see me nicely. Imagine we are done. Like, you're done. You're done. Took a while. Okay, this one is still at two minutes, but um, yeah, <laughs> we are done. <laughs> so, like, this has been a great experience. I don't know if you can see me nicely. Can you see me nicely? Yeah, this has been a good, a great first time experience. <laughs> I am still so happy. I am still so excited. I can't wait to remove the second batch. And I hope you guys learned one or two things watching me do this. So obviously I'll be doing this probably every week so that I can just be doing one load at a go. But um and I won't be showing you every other week, don't worry about that. This was just this one time because I wanted you guys uh, don't worry, I have something cooking in the kitchen. I wanted you guys to learn from me, see the mistakes that I made, and um, hopefully by the end of the month I'll be so used to this that I won't be forgetting to put in my centers, like like the way I forgot to put in the center the first time, and I won't uh, I won't freak out when I hear the water draining and I'll be like, what's going on? Like I remember rushing here like two or three times to see if everything was working or because of the loud noises, you know. Every once in a while it's going to make extra loud noises. Uh, that is when it's draining water or towards the last last bit when it is supposed to be going really fast you know such so can wind up yeah i feel like i've recorded right about everything so i'm just going to dry the second batch it is done at to one minute so i'm just going to dry it and then uh yeah go to the folding let me write part <laughs> i hope you guys are really enjoying this as much as i'm enjoying doing it and showing it to y'all yeah and guys guys huh? while we are waiting for the last minute huh? while we are waiting for that one minute when it's winding up have you subscribed have you why not huh? let's all go to use this one minute subscriber and share it with your friends and tell them about pick on a dime and help us grow our family right yeah let's do that for that one minute as we wait okay oh also remember to hit the thumbs up <laughs> yeah Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Mwah. Hey, it's done. <laughs> it is done. So I'm just going to remove the clothes from down here and put them back up here for them to dry. The same thing I did the first time. You see, this is the reason they tell you to, to clean this. See, I only dried it the first time and this is how it looks. See? This is how it looks when you dry it. So you have to clean this before you dry your second batch, okay? So don't forget, please don't forget to dry this. Apparently it's very important for one or the other reason. Apparently it's very important. So please don't forget to clean this before you dry, okay? Guys, if you know of a better way, if you know of a better way of cleaning this thing, please let me know. Because right now I'm just using my nails and my fingers. So I'm just here wondering if there's a better way of doing it. But yeah. And I'm thinking instead of waiting until the next time I want to, to dry my clothes, I think I'll be drying, I'll be cleaning it immediately after I dry so that I don't forget. You know, it could be in a hurry when I'm cleaning and then I find myself forgetting. See? All this, like, all this, imagine.
Yeah. Waiting for the final load to actually dry up. I wish it had a song. I've seen a few of them that actually have music so you get to dance. Wait, you know, while you're working. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? Guys, <laughs> sorry. I got hungry. Imagine I cooked while my clothes were cleaning themselves and drying themselves. <laughs> So, the load is done. I've just got, had the thing for the final load. So I'm just going to... Um, Set this aside. Get the clothes up.